The life of a TV news anchor can take them to all corners of the country. So did HLN anchor Kira Phillips sacrifice anything along the way? This is Media Beat. Look, things change. Anyone with a yeah, camera has a computer and a good idea should pay attention to the news. Kira Phillips, thank you so much. Appreciate you being here. Great to be here. So you have a, a pretty traditional career path in television news. You worked as a reporter and anchor in local markets in Lubbock and Green Bay, Wisconsin, which is where we met. That's right. I was your producer on the weekend news. You were amazing. You made me who I am today. Oh, please, thanks. I give it I'll all to that. you. I'll take it. I'll take it. <laughs> all those brats and beers. Brats and beers and yes. Packer games and <laughs> good times. Uh, but then you went to New Orleans and then you hit it big in Los Angeles. Uh, and then you went to CNN. So, I mean, that's a lot of travel, not unusual for uh, people in this business to move around the country. But do you think you sacrificed anything along the way? I, in the past, maybe would have thought that I did. But now, looking at my life at 44 and my beautiful family, no because it all happened the way it was supposed to happen. I knew I always wanted a family. I knew I always wanted a sense of balance, but I also knew it would happen when I was ready. And it just so happens I wasn't ready till I was a little bit older. Yeah. Now you have these two beautiful children, Kellen and Sage, just yes. turned two years old. Yes. Their father also works in the business, John Roberts of Fox News. Yeah, married to the enemy. Ah, right, right. <laughs> um, but but how, how do you work it out as a family? Uh, you know, there can be a lot of travel involved. You're up here for a couple days, and, and maybe he has to go out on a shoot for a few days. How do you make it work as a family when you're, when you're both working in this crazy business? Yeah, that's great. I was just having this conversation with somebody today who's feeling guilty about all of that, and I did, too, at the beginning. I was so stressed out. I want to give work everything. I want to give my babies everything. I want to give my man everything. I want it all to be fabulous and perfect. Um, and so that's been tough and what I've realized is it's the quality of time not the quantity of time so when I'm at work work has me 100 percent and I'm gonna do the best that I can when I'm home with my kids I'm not on the phone I'm not on Twitter I'm not on email I am I am looking them in the eyes I am playing with them I am interacting with them they have me 100 percent when my husband's home same thing and we also being in this business we realize how important it is because it can be very unstable how important it is to have a great family dynamic if we're good our kids will be good if we're good and our kids are good life will be good yeah it's probably too soon to tell but there's a lot of news dna in there <laughs> do you see a future in television news for the kids oh goodness gracious don't put me on the spot <laughs> like that i just want them to be happy and successful and all right. I don't know if I want them to go into this crazy business. Yeah. Well, I, we'll, we'll check this tape in 20 years yeah. and if, if they've decided to go <laughs> into it. And if they do, they'll be amazing. Right. Because they'll be doing what they, they want to do. I'll never force them to do anything. But I'll be very honest with them about what the business is like. There's a lot of pros and cons. The business has changed a lot since you and I first got our oh, starts. Oh, yes. Technology has, has changed what uh, the roles are in the newsroom. Social oh. media is such an important part of reporting Crazy. and sharing. Crazy. How are you adapting to all that? Wow, it has been tough because, as you know, you've known me for a long time. I had some of those amazing mentors ever. You know, Art Buckwald, and he introduced me to Walter Cronkite, and then I had Ed Guthman, who was my investigative reporting professor. You know, he was in The Greatest Generation. You know, dear Abby, oh my gosh, she was amazing in my life. But that's been the hardest part is losing real, you know, you know mentors like that, yeah. like Ed, like Buckwald, like Abby, who were the real deal. Yeah. And they were great writers and thinkers and worldly people and, and made a difference. You know, they never worried about a, a tweet or an email or a blogger or anything like that. I mean, everybody looked to them. Yeah. You know, to find out what was going on or to understand politics, love, or history. All right. So you talk about the importance of mentors. Um, are you a mentor? And oh, my gosh. What do you tell the people who are that age in college and saying, I want to be you? Because I had such great mentors, I definitely see the importance of being a mentor to others. And I'm very direct and very honest. And I'll tell you, when someone comes up to me and says, I want to be an anchor, you know, tell, tell me what I need to do. It's like, oh no, no, you don't understand. You need to work your way up. You need to be well read. You need to know what's going on in the world. You need to know how to write, how to think, how to debate. It's, it's, um, it's frustrating for me when folks think our job mm -hmm. is about beautiful makeup, hair, and sitting in front of a teleprompter and smiling and reading a script.